And we kick off our roundup of week 22 at the Stade de Gerland, where Ligue 1's leading goal scorer Alexandre Lacazette put leaders Leon 1 0 up at home to Metz. A cool finish from Lacazette, who had to go off injured shortly afterwards. That is now 21 goals for him in this Ligue 1 season. Well, Metz were forced to play most of the game with 10 men. Guido Milan sent off when conceding that penalty. It wasn't until the 83rd minute that Leon added a second goal. Johan Gorkov pulling back for Corentin Tolisso. A fine finish from distance as it finished 2 0. Well, Paris Saint Germain missed the chance to go second in spite of a win at Saint Etienne on Sunday. Marcel remained ahead of the Capital Club on goals scored. Now, PSG were awarded a penalty on the hour mark. Jeremy Clément are judged to have handled the ball. A touch harsh, perhaps, that decision. But either way, as Latan Ibrahimovic made absolutely no mistake from the spot. That's his ninth league and goal of the season. And the Capital Club might even have added a second goal after this delightful ball from Javier Pastore for Edinson Cavani. A fine effort from the Uruguayan, but he was denied by the crossbar. And as in the League Cup here 12 days ago, it finished a 1-0 to Paris. Now Marseille remained second then, but it was a bad weekend for Marcelo Bielsa's men as they were beaten in Nice on Friday. Roman Genevois put the home side ahead just after half-time, and that's his first Ligue 1 goal in 77 appearances. Well, Nice had Kevin Gomez sent off on 53 minutes, but they still made it 2-0 20 minutes later. Alassane player squaring for an unmarked Nicolas Holt to start home his first Ligue 1 goal. Well, Marseille did manage a consolation through Florian Tovan, 13 minutes from time, superbly taken, but they remain without an away win since October the 4th. Now, Monaco are very much back in the race for Europe after a narrow win at Lille. Yannick Ferreira Carrasco crossing in for Dimitar Berbatov to nod home the game's only goal, his sixth of the season. 1-0 and Monaco up to fifth place. Now Montpellier are sixth after cruising past Nantes at Le Mosson. Paul Lann giving the host a superb lead in the eighth minute with this cunningly mishit cross. Paraguayan international Lucas Barrios hit a hat-trick against Metz last weekend. He was behind Montpellier second, setting up Kevin Berrigo there to sweep home. Anthony Munier then nicked possession from Luca Do to make it 3-0 in the 78th minute. Cool finish for his sixth of the season. And there was also a sixth goal of the season for Barrios a few minutes later. Montpellier romping to a third straight win. It finished 4 0. There were, however, no goals between Bastia and Bordeaux in Furiani. Tomatore denied here by Bastia goalkeeper Jean Louis Lecca. And at the other end, the best chance fell to Francois Modesto. A brilliant save from Cedric Carrasso. 0 0, the final score. Christophe Mandan and Claudio Beauvieux are the men on form at Gangon and they combine to give the Brittany side the lead at home to rivals Lorient. Beauvieux with goal number nine in Ligue 1 this season. There was then some wonderful work from Yunus Sankara to set up Mandan for goal number two. A simple low finish for his sixth of the campaign. Lorient did pull a goal back a few minutes later when Benjamin Jeannot was brought down in the penalty area. He stepped up to convert for 2-1. But Bovu restored the two-goal cushion with a penalty of his own. A cheeky Penenka here in the 76th minute. Well, Lorient did grab a second at the death. A Valentin Levin's cross turned into his own net by Dorian Levesque. It finished 3-2. Well, plenty of goals in Rennes as well, where Julian Ferry returned to haunt his former side. His cross for Sloan Privat, giving visitors Caen a 1-0 lead after just four minutes. Ren did hit back quickly though. Christian Bruls pulling back for Benjamin Andre to make it one apiece just 10 minutes later. Well, Ferre was also at the origin of Khan's second goal. Lovely ball through here for Lenny Nangis. And a fine finish five minutes after half time. Well, Ferre then got the goal that he richly deserved. Five minutes from full time. Slipping this one here past Benoit Costil. But Khan saved the best till last. Ferry completing a hat-trick of assists and an absolute stunner here from Damian De Silva for his first league on goal. Khan with their second consecutive 4-1 win. 
Another goalless draw in the game between Ras and Loss. Christopher Glombar finding the crossbar for host Ras with this cross. And meanwhile, Adamo Koulibaly went closest for Loss, who had the better of the chances. Both sides having to settle for a point. Now finally, Evian pulled out of the relegation zone with a vital home win over fellow strugglers to lose. The only goal of the game scored by 21-year-old Adrian Thomason, 1-0 at the Parc des Sports. So 22 goals in week 22, Marseille losing ground in the title race with their rivals Lyon, PSG and Monaco all winning. Lower down, that superb 4-1 win for Caen and three of vital points for Evian. So Lyon lead the way on 48 points. Marseille are ahead of PSG only by virtue of goals scored. Saint-Étienne are four points further back in fourth with Monaco breathing down their necks. Now for the first time this season, the three promoted sides, Caen, Lens and Metz, find themselves in the relegation zone together. Toulouse are just a point from safety with three teams, Bastia, Lorient and Evian, all on 23 points. PSG kick off week 23 at home to Rennes, while Marseille host Evian at the earlier time of 4.30 on Saturday to accommodate Chelsea Manchester City later in the day. Saint-Étienne are in Caen on Sunday before the big game between Monaco and Lyon.